Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Darjet, and I'll be your host for this evening, and welcome back to Just Ignore Them. Now, I will say this, something that I may not have noticed right away, but definitely noticed during the editing, that in this game, there is almost no ambience whatsoever. In much of this game, there is nothing but dead silence. Even now, there is dead silence. I mean, we can see that it's raining outside in the kid's room. You know, why don't we hear the rain, right? Why can't we hear, like, any little rustling of air or anything? Or any sort of creepy music? So, I decided that if the game can't find one to use, I will provide one for it. So, this is my own, this is one that I'm adding myself. It's free to use, so I'm going to add it. Here we go. Now that makes it feel a whole lot more creepy, a whole lot better. At least I think so. So, in the last episode, we are we were a little boy trying to get into our mother's room, but the mother is a little... Well, she's kind of mean to us and she locked the door. Kind of mean when you have a kid who's having a nightmare and all you do is lock the door. But we found the key. Mommy? Mommy, are you in here? Mom. <gasps> Mommy! Oh my god. No! She... She's just sleeping. Mommy, why are you bleeding? Mommy, I can save you. This is just a bad dream. I hope... Oh. Achievement unlocked. This is all a bad dream. There she was laying in a pool of her warm, shiny blood. That's a bit creepy to say, don't you think? It's funny, you know? I knew this was coming. I wasn't fast enough. And now, she's dead. What do you mean it wasn't fast enough? Thanks. Thanks for what? What did I do? Dad. Ah, uh, what did your dad do? Hey, thanks for the coffee. Oh, am I in the future now? Oh my god, I wanted to do something real quick. I want to do something real quick. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Okay, in here, I wanted to check real quick. It's 8.50 now, which means the 8.40 drawer is now accessible. The drawer's locked though. Huh, it's unlocked now. What's this? A photo. I got a photo? Piece of a photo. Huh. Could this affect the story somehow? There's a picture frame here. If I put the photo in the photo frame, maybe this fits here. There's a message on the back. This will make sense when you're old enough. Oh, goodness. 3419. Mysterious photo. Oh, oh, that is definitely important. That is definitely important. 3419. Okay. So now we have that code. That is going to change things, I bet. Okay, so now that we've got that, and I believe that's what the book downstairs was trying to, to warn me about. It said that the full code is only accessible in the entire picture. So, yeah. Okay, now let's move on with the story. Sorry, I'll just skip right ahead past the death scene again. Okay, now we're back to where we were. Hey, thanks for the coffee. How old am I now? I still got bags under my eyes. I still don't sleep very well at night. Don't mention it. We don't usually get customers at 5 a.m. Except for you, sugar. Sorry about that. I couldn't sleep. What's on your mind, hon? Have a... Uh, well, you know the feeling as if you're being watched, right? Oh yeah! Every time I finish my shift, I feel like someone is stalking me. Why? Is someone stalking you? Well, sort of. Look, just forget it. You probably won't believe me anyway. Look, Mark, you've been in here every day for what, five years now? You know you can talk to me about anything. Yeah, I know. Remember when I told you about my mother? Who can forget? 
It was all over the news. I still remember the date. September 4th, 2000. I think I should remember that too. September 4th, 2000. Yeah. Are you sure you want to talk about her? You get pretty upset about what happened. Yeah, maybe I should talk about her. You know, it's best to get these feelings out. No, it's okay. I want to. When I found her body, there was someone else in the room with us. Who? Did they murder your mother? No, she wasn't murdered. Do you know what day it is? Well, sure, it's September 4th. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mark. She killed herself. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Mark. No, it's okay. But what I'm about to say, you definitely won't believe. Try me. It was a monster. A monster? Look, Mark, you're under a lot of stress lately. See, I said you wouldn't believe me. Sorry, Mark. It's a little far-fetched for me to believe, but I am sorry about what happened. It's okay. Look, how about you start the story again from yesterday morning after you found her, your mother? Are you sure you want to hear it? Well, it's still 5.30. We don't open until 7. Okay. After I found her body. Achievement unlocked. Gasp! You told! Where do I go now? What do I do? It doesn't matter. They'll still follow me. Until I give my last breath, they will find me. But I hope she's safe. Whenever I mention them, everyone dies. I have to stay on the road. I can't go back now. I've lived here for a long time and met too many people. This is all I've ever known and nothing will ever change that. There is no hope. Only pain. Gee, so what if, if I ever tell anybody about the monsters, they die? It's gonna be another six hour drive. Better stop and rest. They shouldn't follow me this far out. I need to get out of the rain. Okay, uh... My truck toolbox. My toolbox. I'll take my screwdriver. Well, it's the only tool in here. I should really buy more tools. My truck, I can't do anything with it. Shouldn't drive in this weather. I need to get out of the rain. Um, a trusty toolbox. I'm a mechanic, but you never know when you might just need them. Or when you might just need only a screwdriver. Uh, let's see here. Vending machine. Can't do anything with it. Old vending machine. And the prices are outrageous. Alright, let's go check in. Old Bill. Well, howdy there. Welcome to Dayfield Motel. The name's Old Bill. How can I help you? I'm looking to spend the night. Do you have anything available? Well, I do have something. It ain't pretty, but it'll keep your head dry. Thank you. Say what? Say, what do you call yourself Old Bill for? You don't look that old. Ha! Son, I'm barely 50. As a matter of fact, I just turned 49 the other day. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's okay, son. I ain't ashamed of my age. Oh, one more thing. The phone in your room doesn't work, but come and see me for the out call number. If I need to make a call, I'll know who to see. Thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, anything I can examine here? Booking log. It's registry book. Can't interact. Uh, register. Not a thief. Can't do anything with it. Yada yada. Uh, computer. You better not touch it, son. Okay. 
Thanks a lot, old Bill. This may sound strange. May I ask what day is your birthday? I can't tell you that. Ha! <laughs> Personal information, son. But you just told me it was a few days ago. Yes, but not which day it was. Ha! <laughs> See you, son. Enjoy your stay. Hmm. So, uh, which one of these rooms is mine? Exactly? It's an old radio. I doubt it'll work since it's been in the rain. And I like the how now that there is an ambience. Room three. I shouldn't disturb the other guests. Radio. Another radio. I don't know. Yep. I shouldn't peep. That's rude. No, peep! Oh, mind your own business. Achievement unlocked. I need to see a room. See someone about a room first. Wait, did I not get the room? Fire extinguisher. Can't do anything with it. Same conversation. Huh. Telephone. Huh, no tone. This, there must be a call out number. Well, okay, let's just head back outside and see if there's... Uh-huh, okay, well, uh, hmm. Oh, my key, my room key. I should probably use that on my door. Well, this, isn't this the penthouse suite? Oh, look, they left all the stains on the bed. <laughs> oh, wow, this, they really, yeah, they really, uh, it's an old television, probably hasn't worked in years. A note. Dear guest, please do not try to open the glass sliding door to the balcony. The lock has been broken for some time and forcing it will dislodge the door. Enjoy your stay. Okay, well, maybe it's, uh, this might be one of those choices that I have to make where if I do something about it, it'll change the entire story. I probably could very well use my screwdriver to force open this door. But if I do that, who knows what'll happen. Little scratch marks in the back. Probably from some small animal. Interesting concept. Lucky for me, I don't need to go. Interesting Achievement unlocked. Interesting concept. No idea what that means or what it's for. <laughs> Uh, it's an old balcony. It doesn't look safe. Yeah, right? Telephone. Can't do anything with it. No tone. Bed. Well, I suppose there's nothing else to do. At least the, until the rain stops. I fell back onto the bed, gazing at the cracks in the ceiling. You misspelled ceiling, but that's fine. I can finally have some time to myself. The more I gazed, the crack would grow. The more I gazed, the crack would grow. I think you mean the more the crack would grow. I've got too much on my mind. I wonder, is Mary okay? She's dead. She'd be opening the diner right now. If I ever get a second chance, I'll ask her out. She's dead. Soon enough, I fell asleep. I felt cold. Very cold. Like when I was in mom's room. Maybe it's happening again. I can't sleep. I need to know if Mary's safe. I'll call the diner. She should still be working. But I need the call out, the out call number. I better go see the manager. Uh, okay, I suppose. Oh, look, the rain stopped. Huh? Where did he go? Maybe we should look around. Uh, let's see. The key rack. There's a strange looking key here. It says Bill's Happy Place. This guy has some issues. Did I take it? Yeah, I did. I took the key to Bill's happy place. The booking log. Huh, only two people. 
Me and someone named Paris Eve. Such a fancy name. Is that the person in room two? Uh, let's use a computer, shall we? Maybe he has the outcall number on his computer. And it's password protected. Great. If it says, if I forget password, find it on my birthday. Huh, well that's convenient. That's strange. Looks like someone tried to enter the password. I better not tamper with it. Somebody already tried to enter the password. Is there some way I'm supposed to pull up the password from that? Huh. Doesn't appear to be anything else I can interact with. What's that clock say? Can't interact with the clock. Okay, let's go outside. Maybe the other room is open. Shouldn't disturb the other guests. Huh. Oh, there's a grill. It's been recently used on some sort of roadkill. Uh, dee 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 dee. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with the vending machine. Uh, can't do anything with my truck. What do I do now? Go back to my room? All right. Room key. Uh, doubt there's anything different here. Maybe I can use Bill's happy place key on something else. Room three won't do anything. What else can I use the key on? Oh, there's a side over here. Oh, something in the grill. Oh, I should probably save, though. Not really hungry for wet food, but the coals may come in handy. I'll take a dry one from the bottom. After all, I didn't bring any toothpaste. So you use coal? The rooms look like they haven't been occupied in a long time. Workshop door. That's probably what I use Bill's key for. Bill's happy place. Wow. I can feel the happiness already. Uh, oh. Someone has a good taste in women, uh, posters. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Nice, uh, poster. Yeah. <laughs> Workbench. Workbench is always handy. Any extra tools I can take besides just my screwdriver. Hey, an oil can. I could use some on the on my on the bed in my room. It squeaks too much. Or the television. I haven't seen these since I was a kid. A washing machine. Still works. Can't do anything. Power box. The keyhole looks like it's busted. Maybe I can use something else. Like a screwdriver? Looks like a, look at all those wires that I'm not going to touch. Hey, jumper cables. Why would Bill fuse these to the power box? And did I get, huh? No idea. Lawnmower. Use a blaze. This could come into handy scaring off critters at night. Well, I'm getting all kinds of great stuff from this place. Old floor hatch. Can't do anything with that. Need something to pry it open like a crowbar. Okay, so we have a lot of things with, to look at, a lot of things to use. Don't need to wash my hands. Please don't touch the power box. I've modified the cables to charge my truck's battery. Maybe that's what I gotta use it for. Uh, let's see here. Courtyard. Wait, what was that? What I I oiled the mower blade. Why did I oil the mower blade? Oh, huh, like a glove. Oh, 
Uh, what do we got going on here? Uh, before I do anything else, save. Because I could have a few choices of things to do in this moment of time. Uh, camera. Ooh. Oh, so that's why this is Bill's happy place. Yeah. Maybe it's for shooting commercials? Holy shit! Is that the other guest staying here? I better not. I better take the tape. This old Bill is gonna get it. Wait. Is that? Oh shit! I need to warn her and fast. Uh. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. You're a sick person, Bill. I should report you to the police. Tisk tisk. Now, why would you do something like that for? You enjoyed the show just as much as I did. You know, I have more than one peephole around here, son. Look, I don't have time for this. She's in great danger. I need to warn her. That's not my concern, son. The only thing that bothers me is in your hand. The tape? Give it to me. Ooh, uh, yeah, I guess. Give it to him. Here, take it, you sick fuck. I hope you get what's coming to you. Much obliged. Achievement unlocked. Be kind. Rewind. Knock, knock. Lady. Knock, knock. Hey, open up. You're not safe. I can hear something. The door's locked. I can't get in. There's no time to find a key. I need to get in there now. I'll break the lock with the mower blade. I don't need this anymore anyway. Here goes nothing. Oh, thank God. She's, uh... Huh. I guess it's barge in and see my tits day. Oh, my. I'm sorry to intrude, but... But? Well, hmm. Look, this is going to sound stupid, but... A monster almost ate you. There's be there's better pickup lines than that, you know. Also, how exactly did you did you know that? Well, there's a peephole in your shower. Great. So tits and all then. And I was worried you wouldn't get to see anything. I was looking for a call for an outcall number for the phone in my room. I couldn't find the manager, but I found a secret re recording room. Yeah. What proof do you have? I uh gave it to the manager. And why did you do that for? I don't know. I was in a rush to come rescue you. Hey, listen, don't worry about it. If I knew you were about to be eaten by a monster, I'd bust your door down, too. Didn't think you'd believe me. I've heard more convincing stories from guys trying to get my pants. That's a skirt you're wearing. And that's a guilty face you're wearing. What's your name, anyhow? It's Mark. I'm Paris, but everybody calls me Brie. Why Brie? Because I like the cheese. I don't know. It's just a nickname I had in high school. Look, I'm sorry to intrude. I'll leave. You got a car? Uh, huh? Uh, yeah. Great. You can give me a lift to the next city tomorrow. And you can let me stay in your room, seeing how you busted the lock on mine. Sure thing. Uh, would you mind? Oh, sorry. I'll just wait outside. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Sorry to barge in. Oh, wow. And there's a... The achievement has a picture of her, like... Half dressed. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just go back to my room for the mo. I better see how she's doing. I just hope Bree will be safe in here. How'd she get the glass door to open? Good question. Again, I'm sorry about before. I honestly didn't mean for any any of that to happen. It's okay, Mark. Really. I'm glad you told me the truth. And when I find that bill, I'm going to break his legs. And film it. Please don't break mine. I need him to walk. Ha! <laughs> you're funny, Mark. No, I won't break yours. Since you're cute, I'll let you get away with it. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh thanks, I guess. So, where are you from, Bree? You have a strange accent. And so do you. I'm not going in all into details, but I was born in England. Oh, oh. Unfortunately, English accents are one thing I cannot do. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, 
It's not that I haven't tried. It's just somehow I my voice just will not do British. It's weird because I can do Southern just fine, as you saw before, but I can't do British. So, why are you here in the States? Let's just say a holiday gone wrong. So, why are you, are you heading upstate for? A holiday? I'm trying to get away from home. Too many monsters back home, eh? <laughs> Literally. You can, you can say that again. Huh. You really believe in monsters, don't you? I wish I didn't. But it's hard not to, once you've seen them. Excuse me. Mark, are you sure you're not on medication? Oh, so let's crack the crazy jokes now. Look, if I see one, I'll believe you. I hope you never do. So, who are you going to call, by the way? Oh, just a friend. Just a friend who's dead, but you were going to call her so you can ask her out on a date? But now you're not because you like this girl? I see where you're going with this. What's her name? Oh, Mary. Wait, how did you know it was a girl? It's always about a girl. She works at a diner in my hometown. You can use my cell phone if you like. Just keep it short. Thanks, I will. Hello, this is Angie speaking. Hi, uh, this is Mark. Oh, the guy with the brown coat. Yeah, that's me. Can I speak to Mary, please? Mark. Mark, I, I've got some bad news. Mary died this morning. She committed suicide right here in the diner. I'm so sorry, Mark. Thank you for letting me know. So, how'd it go? She... Mark, are you okay? I'm fine. Hey, Mark. Do you love her? Oh, tough call. Um, I don't think it would be right to say that I loved her. I mean, we hadn't even gone out. I was going to ask her out, but... Uh, I can't say that a woman that I've spoken to for a long time but never actually tried to get intimate is someone I would fall in love with. I'm going to say no. At least I didn't yet. She's just a friend. I'll leave you to it, Mark. Achievement unlocked. Feeling lovesick? Hmm. There's a lot of achievements in this game. Okay, so I think that is just about all the time I have for this episode. So, in the next episode, we shall continue on our road trip to the next town and see if we can learn more about Bree. And, uh, who knows? Maybe we can keep her from getting eaten or killed or suicide? Whatever. This is a pretty creepy game, I must say. It is, uh, this, it's not so much creepy as it is, uh, the storyline is, a. Uh, a creepy type of intriguing. It makes you want to learn more. But we shall find out more of this story in the next episode. So, check the card for the full playlist as well as other great links. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button below. And if you hit that subscribe button, maybe no one will find the peephole in your shower. At least. Thank you all for joining me. There is a peephole in your shower, by the way. Thank you all for joining me for this part of Just Ignore Them. And I will see you next time. There was a promise made.